Today we are visiting the Vatican City. We wake up early and make our way to the train station to catch the metro to the closest station. It is a short walk to the meeting point for the group tour that I've booked. The group tour includes visiting the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel and St Peter's Basilica. The tour commences at 7.45. I booked an early tour for two reasons. The first reason was that it was much cheaper than later in the day. And the second reason is that it wouldn't be as busy that time of the morning. The group meets and it is soon time to walk to the entrance to the Vatican City Museum. The tour group line moves at a reasonable pace and soon enough, we are inside the walls of this micro country. Our guide is fantastic and very knowledgeable. Firstly, he tells us a brief history of the Vatican City. This is done prior to entering the museums. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is to assist the flow of people inside the buildings because some of them are quite narrow for the number of people being funneled through. He gives us so much information that it is difficult to retain it all. Soon enough, we are going into the museum buildings. There are some absolutely amazing artifacts to see. My favorite part was walking through the room with all the maps on the walls. The ceiling was magnificent with Baroque styling. The way the paintings are framed made them just look like they're postage stamps. One word of warning though, you may have a sore neck from continually looking up at the ceilings. To be honest, it can and does overload the senses. It overloaded my senses for sure. The rooms are tightly packed with people and while the art is absolutely incredible to see, there is so much to look at. Sometimes you just don't even know where to look. There is just so much. Finally, after shuffling through the museums, we are ushered into the Sistine Chapel. It is densely packed with people. We are only given 10 minutes to admire the chapel. I cannot stress this enough. 10 minutes is nowhere near enough time to take it all in. Where do you even start with a chapel such as this? Unfortunately, you are not allowed to take any photos or videos. This again could be to regulate the number of people through here. It is a shame though, as I would have loved just at least one photo to remember the moment I saw the Creation of Adam artwork. You know, it's the one where God is reaching out to touch Adam's, like their fingers touching. But you know, I guess I can look at photos online. I could have spent hours admiring the art in the chapel, but alas, our short 10 minutes was up way too quickly. Our guide then takes us to St. Peter's Basilica. Now, the tour was supposed to include a guided tour of the basilica, but I guess he missed the memo because after a brief explanation, our guide left us to our own devices. Being in the tour group gave us almost direct access into the basilica without waiting in line. I didn't realize the enormity of this until I left the basilica and saw the line to enter. It snaked around the perimeter of the piazza. The line was so long, it felt almost rude that we got in so quickly and so easily. Okay, so going back to the basilica, it is once again an absolute masterpiece. Although now we no longer have a guide, we actually have no idea what we're looking at. So we wander around for a bit catching little bits of information by overhearing other guides speak to their groups. It is also very beautiful though. Our guide did tell us that we needed to visit the tombs underneath the building. We stumble upon the stairs and make our way down. I think the tombs are fascinating and definitely worth visiting. At this stage, we have been walking around for four hours and are completely exhausted. We leave the piazza and find a gelato van just outside. We have a scrumptious gelato while basking in the sun. Afterwards, we find a restaurant nearby and refuel after such a busy morning. We catch the metro back to the terminus station and make our way back to the hotel where I record my thoughts and tips on visiting the Vatican City and they'll probably be coming up very soon in this video. 
the tour I chose was a three hour tour. Uh, so you are and you, you you are on your feet for pretty much that entire time. So from the time you enter, um, you just you, you're just being moved through different rooms. Uh, you, you do get the opportunity to take photos, and if you've got a guide, you get some really good information. Um, now, if you are going to visit, this is where the tips come into it. I can only suggest getting uh, going with a tour group, and the reason for that is the line was so long. Um, so just to get into the museum, it was all the way down the road. I wish I'd taken a, a video of it. It was all the way down the road. It would have taken so long to get in. That's the first part, all right? It's just getting in <laughs> to the museum part. Um, and then if you also want to go to St. Peter's Basilica, which you can do separately anyway, um, the line for that, oh my goodness. I, I don't know how fast it was moving. Most people look to be, you know, standing still for most of the time. Um, but it was, it, it just snaked around. It snaked around, um, you know, the the piazza in front of St. Peter's Basilica. So my advice is get a tour or, or go on in, in a group tour. Yes, it does cost money. However, <laughs> how much is your time worth? Um, for me, the not standing in line, you know, the being fast tracked straight through, Pretty much St. Peter's Basilica, we went, we came straight out of the Sistine, straight out of the Sistine Chapel, and then we were ushered straight into St. Peter's Basilica. It was just, it, it was quick. It was really, really good. So save yourself the time and save yourself the energy. Maybe not the money, unfortunately, but um, but you can get cheaper, cheaper ones. So then that I then I got, but that was worth it for me. And I knew all the lines were gonna be bad in Rome, which is why I have gone on a series of, of group tours because um, you do get in a little bit faster. And you know, and there's just so much to see, right? So you don't wanna spend a lot of your time standing in line. Also, I find walking is fine, standing hurts my feet ridiculously. Um, so that's the first tip. The other tip would be, if you are visiting St. Peter's Basilica, make sure you go down into the um, the, the, there's an underneath section um, and when you first go into St. Peter's Basilica right down you, you'll see right down to the to the dome and the stairs for it look at the, they are a little bit hidden they're not really easy to see I only saw them because I went one way and then when I turned around and come back that was when I saw the sign um, but there are steps to go underground uh, and you will see the resting place of some of the popes so when you it is on the left hand side and it is kind of behind one of the big pillars that is holding up the dome so when you do go make sure you um, go down there however do it at the end because um, it funnels you outside I think you can come back in but it does funnel you pretty much to the outside so um, yeah that's you'll, yeah, you'll, be, <laughs> you'll be out of the building then Okay, so I don't think I have any other tips, but what do I have to say about the uh, the Vatican City? Well, I found it completely stunning. It was beautiful. Now, I love art. So for me, I, I enjoy art, I like galleries, I love museums. So it's kind of the perfect culmination of all of those things. Uh, you've got, you know, amazing statues you've got the most beautiful paintings and frescoes in the entire world um, so it is just it's it's just hard to describe just for me I've just taken so many photos so many videos you aren't allowed to take videos within the Sistine Chapel um, I don't know if it's for what reason but you're not allowed which is fine there's lots of um, like pictures online that you can see um, but just take as many photos and videos as you can because you will really want to relive these moments because they're, to me, it's such a sensory overload. There's so much to look at. There's so much to see. There's different styles. There's Baroque. There's just, what it, it's just stunning. So, so you can look back and remember all the amazing things you saw. Just take, take as many photos as you can. Um, I just, I don't, I, I, I I didn't anticipate 
how beautiful it would be. I knew it was going to be beautiful, don't get me wrong, um, but I didn't anticipate just how beautiful it would be and how much I really did enjoy it. Even though my feet are killing me, my legs are exhausted, I don't want to walk anymore. Uh, after being in, in Italy for what, uh, five, six days now, you know, all I've done is walk every day, almost 20,000 steps. My body's giving out, but I could have happily gone around that entire city again. Um, I was just in love with it. So, yeah, make sure you go. You won't regret a second of being in the Vatican City. <laughs>